I simply threw a punch that was already the limit this world could bear. I thought no one would dare to show off again, but then I saw a man frantically running around the arena. His actions prompted other competitors to remind him, you're going the wrong way, this way. Noticing others staring straight at him, the man felt a bit shy. Could it be that I dressed too handsomely today? A strong sense of shame made him feel uncomfortable, but thinking of his wife at home, the man still approached the steel. A mysterious sense of purpose gathered in his hands, and for a moment, a violent aura blew like thunder, forcing everyone to exert all their strength just just to barely withstand it. At this moment, the number on the steel changed, shockingly reaching 91 points. Yet, the man's cultivation was only at the foundation establishment realm. The leaderboard changed immediately after. The words foundation establishment realm startled everyone, making them feel incredibly pained to have provoked such a powerhouse, and why he hadn't gone to foundation despite being so powerful. Hearing their discussion, Yi Xiaolun also felt helpless. I've been cultivating for 100,000 years, and still haven't succeeded in foundation. Just then, the crowd split to the side. As a woman with a large chest approached the steel, she had also challenged the steel before, but only scored a shameful 56 points. As she drew her sword and slashed down, the attack was not as magnificent as imagined, yet such a simple attack caused the indestructible steel to crack. Mirror Heart was also stunned by this scene, for it was the first time he had seen the steel crack in the billions of years he had guarded it. Yulan didn't look up at the numbers on the steel, but turned and left, knowing the audience around her would tell her the answer. Her gaze swept sharply over everyone. The prize of this competition is mind to win, her tone as if announcing something utterly mundane. At this time, Heavenly Way whispered in my ear. The sword energy she just released carries the aura of Heavenly Way's loss. All who cross the tribulation must undergo the baptism of Heavenly Way's thunder tribulation. Surviving it grants a chance to comprehend the laws of Heavenly Way. However, the laws of Heavenly Way are ever-changing, and the laws comprehended are myriad and strange. Can you tell what law she has comprehended? He answered, I don't know, because she has comprehended too little. I can't sense it. Hearing this, I curiously looked at Heavenly Way. Way. When can you strike me? I want to know what law I can comprehend. This also startled Heavenly Way. How dare I strike you? After Yulan achieved a full score, no one dared to step forward. Mirror Heart urged them to hurry up, but still, no one moved. Instead, they prepared to leave, believing they couldn't win the treasure of the competition anyway. Mirror Heart shouted angrily, Those who leave, don't blame me for not warning you. Leaving here to go back, your continent will automatically downgrade by one level. Then he sneaked in a laugh. Those here are all landmasters from the Eastern Star region. The East is nothing but a barbaric land. I'm afraid you have no chance of going down any further. Watching the noisy crowd, I suddenly broke the silence. Let me try then. Saying this, I confidently walked through the crowd, introducing myself, Nine State Continent, Chin Chanan. But the crowd, hearing this, felt very disdainful. This trash looks like a weakling. He really thinks he's a peerless genius. The green-haired woman noticed me at this time, showing a mocking smile, waiting to see my performance. Right now, everyone has started to use this opportunity to form alliances, and those who are alone meet a very miserable end. But luckily, I've time Finally clung to Yi Xiaolin's powerful coattails, and you, from the Nine State Continent, are as good as dead. Mirror Heart became extremely impatient at this time. Stop dawdling and start already. It's just a formality now anyway. I curled my lips, ignoring their mockery, merely throwing a punch as usual. The next moment, the sky filled with broken stones made everyone shut their mouths. Even Mirror Heart, who was most skeptical of me, was filled with fear. Everyone looked as if they had seen a ghost, because in their understanding, the steel was impossible to break. The air wave generated by my punch also heavily injured those around waiting to watch the spectacle. My not-so-tall figure had now left an indelible nightmare in their hearts. Mirror Heart finally came to his senses. The steel had actually broken. The green-haired woman also regretted her previous indiscretion. What kind of freak is this person? And so, the legend about me had just begun. The name of the Nine State was instantly known throughout the Eastern Realms. One by one, the geniuses felt immense pressure, considering me as their ultimate competitor in this competition. Suddenly, Mirror Heart came to my side and began to examine me. This person wasn't back fired by the steel. The steel should automatically absorb the life force of the competitors to repair itself, but now the steel has turned into a pile of broken stones without any spiritual energy. A great fear enveloped him instantly, because this was the spiritual steel given to him by a higher deity. I looked teasingly at the organizer of the competition. Now, how should this be settled? Don't kneel, I allow you to stand up and announce. After I broke the steel, the gods were rarely surprised, although there was already something wrong with that steel. Anyone who could break it indeed has some skills, and in the square, due to the break of the steel, that segment was directly skipped. Looking at the shining entrance on the mountaintop, everyone was also filled with doubt. Mirror Heart introduced, behind me are 188 caves, corresponding to the landmasters here. Originally, you should choose the caves
caves according to your rankings, but since the testing steel is broken, you can enter the caves according to your own strength. There's no limit to the number of people in each cave, but likewise, the rewards in each cave are different. I quickly understood. He wants to use this to balance the power, giving those who want to pretend to be weak a low-key opportunity. Lin Seven suddenly asked, what does it mean if I choose the first position, and what does it mean if I choose the last? Suddenly, a blue beam of light enveloped him. Seeing this, Mirror Heart clutched his head in fright. I almost forgot there's another important segment. Before the immortals take their places, the gods will choose the people they are interested in to provide some special assistance. This beam of light is the sign of being chosen. Congratulations, you've been chosen by a god. Following that, two more beams of light descended from the sky at lightning speed, landing on two other renowned landmasters. Another beam fell on the person who was in first place before the steel shattered. Yi Xiaolin, everyone looking at this individual at the Foundation Establishment Realm was full of envy. How I wish it were me. Then someone pointed at Yulan in horror. It turns out, she has two beams of light on her. This meant she was chosen by two gods at the same time. I, however, was subjected to everyone's criticism. If you hadn't destroyed the steel, maybe I could have been recognized by a god too. As they were complaining about me, a purple beam of light appeared on me, making them incredibly jealous. But they still didn't concede, saying, it's just one beam. Empress has two. Suddenly, four different beams of light swiftly descended onto the square. The next second, everyone's faces were replaced with shock, because those those beams uniformly chose me, and it seemed the gods were making a significant move for me. Mirror Heart suddenly emerged, very smugly stating, being chosen by five gods truly is fortunate, but you can only choose one god's camp. Then he looked towards Empress, you also have to refuse one god. Mirror Heart sneered inwardly, gods are the least tolerant of refusal, no matter which gods help you accept, it will displease the remaining four, especially this annoying person. Provoking four gods at once, will surely lead to a miserable life. I told him plainly, no need to choose, I refuse them all. My words instantly caused fear among everyone. My rebellious statement made them break out in cold sweat, seeing they still wanted to persuade me. I immediately said, I don't want to say it a second time. At the same time, all the beams of light on me disappeared. I could feel that the beings above were filled with endless killing intent after being provoked by me. Mirror Heart, though dissatisfied with me, still felt it was a pity. If you had chosen the help of one god, the remaining four might have still had some reservations. But now you can only hope for the best. At that moment, Yulan also made the same choice as me. I came here to prove myself. Self. Assistance from external forces is no different from a burden. In her perception, she distinctly felt one divine consciousness that, though not benevolent, harbored no clear malice. The other, however, felt like being targeted by a venomous snake hiding in the dark, ready to capture and kill her at any moment. The consecutive refusals also made Mirror Heart lose his patience. In the billions of years I've lived, this is the first time I've seen cultivators like you. Yi Xiaolin also expressed his desire to refuse, because the feeling of being chosen by a god made him very uncomfortable. Moreover, refusing a god really feels cool. Other participants chosen by gods became excited upon hearing this and refused the god's help for various reasons. Even Lin Seven, who was most desperate for power, made the same choice. Mirror Heart's face darkened with immense anger. You really don't know what's good for you? Then let me reveal some information to you in advance. That is, the next competition will be conducted in a battle royale scoring mode, and those with divine power will have an innate advantage in the competition. The divine grace bestowed by the gods is a blessing. Those who are chosen should be grateful, not like some self-righteous people who are ignorant of the wider world, thinking they are close to godliness when in fact they are foolish beyond measure. Saying this, he suddenly pointed at me and started cursing loudly. I'm fucking talking about you. You better listen up. Just then, the previously disappeared beams of light reappeared. All the participants were moved, greedily looking towards the direction where the beams fell. In an instant, those beams passed through the clouds towards the square. This time, the beams did not choose me, but enveloped those inconspicuous participants. Mirror Heart explained, divine grace will not disappear because of your refusal, but will be left for those who need it more. But looking at those chosen lucky ones, I felt nothing. After all, they are just a bunch of useless stepping stones. Mirror Heart came up to those who were chosen. Any of you planning to refuse? The chosen man laughed maniacally. This is the power of a god. We are not that foolish. The man's eyes suddenly widened. The aura within him became incredibly powerful, rising up like the presence of a deity. Feeling this power, the man became even more excited. I've actually comprehended the primal force. With this power, I could take on ten Chinchanans. Yulan and others sneered at at their transformation. If they had accepted this power, their tens of thousands of years of effort would have turned into nothing at that moment. Seeing this, I felt more convinced that things were moving in an interesting direction. It seems like a good time to contact those two. Perhaps they know something. Mirror Heart then announced, the divine selection segment is over. You now have 10 minutes to choose your cave. Being first in the strength test doesn't mean you'll always be first, and choosing a spot doesn't mean you'll always stay there. Fortune and disaster are intertwined. It's up to you whether you have the courage to embrace the unknown. Lin Seven, feeling that being ethereally first was too conspicuous, chose one of the later caves. Then, they all flew towards the
towards their desired caves. Lin Seven chose the seventh ranked cave because of his name, believing it was meant for him. But soon, he got a new neighbor, Emil Huashi, who came to his side, simply because divination showed he suited the number six. Yi Xiaolin, looking at the numbers, fell silent, unsure which to choose to avoid drawing attention. The woman standing at the first cave was too fierce, and it seemed she had no intention of sharing the first spot with anyone else. Noticing me, who also hadn't chosen a cave, Yi Xiaolin then asked, Ah, has Brother Chen decided on a spot yet? Looking at this somewhat airhead guy, I unexpectedly felt a sense of kinship, so I told him, As a man, you must strive to be first, and as a true man, I definitely have to choose the first. I clapped him on the shoulder, I remember you, Yi Xiaolin, that's a really good name, significantly meaningful. Suddenly, I leaned in with a smile, also, thanks for not smashing that steel. Without waiting for his response, I walked ahead, thinking maybe this guy could have one ten thousandth of my strength, until my figure disappeared from the square. Yi Xiaolin pondered while watching my back, someone actually discovered my secret. If it's him, maybe he can withstand my full power. As he spoke, he had already chosen his most favored cave, number 188 at the very end. Just as he was about to leave, a woman also ran up to him. It turns out we've chosen the same cave. Ah, to think we had the same idea. You also wanted to find the least targeted place, right? Since that's the case, let's form an alliance. It's good to have someone to look out for each other. My name is Emo Ching. If you ally with me, you won't miss out on the benefits. Yi Xiaolin outright ignored her. I clearly just wanted to find a quiet place. Why do people still follow me? At the top of the mountain, I looked at the person daring to take my spot with amusement. Has the world come to the point where any Tom, Dick, or Harry thinks they can show off in front of me? So, I calmly said to her, Lady, if you don't want to die, get lost. But far from being scared by my words, she responded with a grim face. There's no need for two leaders. I'm already standing here. You're the one who should leave. Not wanting to earn a bad reputation for killing a woman, I decided to reason with her one last time. This spot is mine. You can compete for the second or third cave. My patience is very limited, but her frantic demeanor showed no intention of reasoning with me. The one ultimately shown as first on the steel is me. Having entered the competition again, I am absolutely confident I will stand at the peak and win in the end. I will not yield. Please move to the second spot and return to where you belong. Holding my head, feeling overwhelmed. Why are there always people looking for death in this world? So, I stopped wasting words and stepped in front of her. How about a fight? Yulan instantly reached for the holy sword, and I reached out to grab it as well. The moment I caught it, Yulan was horrified to find that no matter how hard she tried, she couldn't pull the sword out even a little bit. Looking at her eyes filled with killing intent, I found it incredibly amusing. It seems absolute power is indeed the only way to deal with trash. I looked down at her from above. Lady, if you can move it even slightly, draw the sword, and the first place is yours. She trembled with rage at my contemptuous words. You dare to belittle me. Just then, Mirror Heart interrupted our fight. The competition hasn't even started, and you two are already at each other's throats. He looked annoyingly smug. Fight all you want, but don't blame me for not warning you. Participants choosing the same cave are considered allies. Yulan was about to retort when Mirror Heart cut her off. These are the rules, not up for discussion. With that, he left the area. Now, listen up. Before entering the combined domain competition, the four domains will each undergo three rounds of elimination. The last standing participants will face the strong contenders from the other three domains in the final battle. The first round of competition will teleport participants randomly to the Flame Mountain Zone, Poisonous Swamp Zone, Deep Sea Zone, Underground Maze, or the Windless Plains for a point scoring battle. The first round of scoring is limited to five days. After five days, those who have scored 200 points and are located in the Windless Plains will be considered as advanced. As for how to obtain points, you will naturally come to know in time. Time's up. I wish all Landmasters good luck. Before the teleportation, Yulan warned me, you better pray we don't end up in the same place. Otherwise, her words only only made me laugh. Or what? You'll kill me, foolish one. Do you think you can? The next moment, all the participants disappeared within the beams of light. Mirror Heart, somewhat speechless, glanced at where I vanished. This generation of landmasters really is troublesome. As he was reflecting, he suddenly felt a chill. A scroll broke through the void, appearing out of nowhere, an urgent divine decree, endowed with the power of laws that traverse time and space. Mirror Heart quickly read its contents, information from the future. But the more he read, the more horrified he became. In the upcoming interstellar competition, a god's Slayer appeared. This person's movements and cultivation are mysterious. After killing the Solar Emperor, he quickly hid his presence. I suspect there are conspirators aiding him. You, being in this slice of time, we want you and the treasure spirits of the other three domains to search for traces of the Godslayer. Contact me immediately upon discovery and don't act rashly. After all the information was conveyed, it turned to dust and vanished into nothingness. A Godslayer is someone who, by a stroke of fate and the fortune of the heavens, manages to kill a god. Such an individual appears once in tens of millions of years. Who could it possibly be? Subsequently, I was teleported to a barren wasteland. It seems this is the underground maze. The condition for advancement is to score 200 points and reach the windless plains within five days. But how to earn 
points and leave here to reach the windless plains is a problem. As I was contemplating where to find a breakthrough, a reckless individual swung a blade at my head. At that moment, I wasn't sure if I was lucky or unlucky to encounter an annoyance right from the start. The creature revealed a cunning smile after its attempt, but before it could continue to rejoice, its expression turned incredibly stiff. I curiously examined this insect before me. Turns out it's a demon beast with an aura close to the immortal emperor realm. Seems this place is not ordinary. Such a level of being is actually common here. I casually obliterated it, feeling quite unfortunate for it to have encountered me. If it were someone else, they might have fallen to it. As I was about to leave, a number appeared above his corpse. Curiously, I approached and lightly touched the light orb, and a number also lit up on the back of my hand. The next moment, the number on my hand changed. Turns out one of the ways to earn points is by hunting demon beasts. Each one represents a point. I just got one. The previous four points must have been taken by that empress. The competition had just begun not long ago, and she already had four points. It seems she's really determined to be first. Soon, I stopped pondering the reason behind it. Let's delve deeper to see what tricks they are playing. Elsewhere, Yi Xiaolin, looking at the quiet plains around him, couldn't help but laugh. I didn't expect to be at the finish line right from the start. No need to navigate the map or search for a way out, and my starting score is 188 points, just 12 points shy of advancing. As for the final points, I'll leave it all to green-haired sister. On the other hand, other alliance teams were joining forces to hunt various terrifying creatures for just a few points. Seeing the points appearing before them, they also showed excited smiles. Just need to push a little more, and securing the advancement shouldn't be a problem. But just then, a figure ran over in a panic. Mysterious Abyss asked him, what's wrong? Did Chin Chanan appear? The man answered, no, and then pointed towards the sky. The latest leaderboard appeared, but they only understood when they saw the list at that moment. The further back the cave, the higher the initial score. Eventually, they found my name, actually in the labyrinth of deception. Seeing this, Mysterious Abyss couldn't help but burst into laughter. After a while, the man finally stopped laughing. This competition has seen many geniuses, and Chin Chanan is one of the most troublesome. With him around, our actions will always be limited, but now he's trapped in the maze. At least we won't encounter him in this round. In the Flame Mountain region, Yulan, seeing only 10 points on her wrist, fell into deep thought. All the demon beasts in this area had died by her sword, but she was still far from reaching 200 points. The thought that I might be somewhere enjoying the fruits of her labor made Yulan very angry. What exactly is that guy doing? It's all me doing the work inside the maze. Mo Ching looked at the two demon emperors in front of him with fear, continuously shouting. The demon emperor warned her to keep quiet. If you dare attract that monster nearby, I'll kill you. Mo Ching immediately shut her mouth. If it weren't for my demonic lineage allowing me to transform in time, I'd already be a corpse. She whispered to the two lords. I, I'm just passing by. Please spare my life. I'll leave right away. Only then did the centaur finally get a good look at her and couldn't help but gasp. Go. I've never seen something so ugly in my life. Mo Ching didn't know whether to be angry or feel lucky upon hearing this just as she was grateful to be alive. A shadow flashed in front of her, feeling the terrifying aura of the person. Mo Ching couldn't help but tremble, having just escaped two soul reapers. Now the king of hell appeared. Mo Ching repeated her plea for mercy. Ah, your honor, I'm one of us, one of us. But I ignored her pleas, grabbing her throat, looking at her. I couldn't help but show an excited smile. I've been searching for so long. Finally, it's time to hunt the second demon beast. But she yelled at me. Stop, stop, not, not one of us, not one of us. I coldly stated I know. So, are you ready to die? Then, without waiting for a response, I tightened my grip. She finally managed to get a full sentence out. Ah no, I'm one of us, but not one of us. It's over, I can't explain. Only when she reverted to her original form, did I finally recognize her. I told her very dissatisfied. You should have said so earlier. I was almost about to strike. After finally surviving, she complained to me. I did say so from the beginning. Hearing that, I coughed awkwardly a couple of times, then continued to ask her. Where did you sell and go? Weren't you with him? She told me. The moment we stepped into the teleportation formation. I was separated from him, and my big leg disappeared. Hearing the words big leg, I also felt a chill, immediately warning her to keep her distance, but she persisted in showing her affection and courting me in various ways, offering not only to warm my bed, but also to perform a strip dance that only adults could watch. I impatiently told her to shut up. If you can't provide useful information, I don't mind getting rid of you right now. Mo Ching immediately took out a green stone, then threw it towards the darkness not far away. The next moment, a gloomy teleportation passage appeared before us, startling me because the space here changed entirely the instant she threw the stone. Several nameless skeletons appeared in front of us, and then, the stone dropped out from behind us. Mo Ching explained, this maze is not as simple as it seems on the surface. It's actually an ancient secret realm established by the laws of reincarnation and space. Since its creation, no one has ever left it. If one tries to forcefully break through, they will be devoured by the force of the laws like those skeletons over there. It is said that billions of years ago, two heavenly gods fought here, causing the heavens to split and the earth to crack. Afterward, this realm began to reorganize, giving rise to the heavenly way. 
because of the residual power of the heavenly gods, this heavenly way grew quickly. Now, it has become the path of spirit. Hearing this, I fell into thought. Compared to this, my heavenly way son is really underperforming. Such a wild, motherless heavenly way is so powerful, and he's still whining everywhere. If this drags on, the prize of the competition will be out of my reach. The woman waved her hand. To get out, we'd probably need to use a stronger primal law. But that's a confrontation between heavenly ways. We can't even think about it. But I'm different from you. I have a super powerful teammate. I just need to survive for five days. And I can easily qualify for the competition. What she didn't know was, that on the other side, a man harbored the same thought. I ignored her wild guesses. If I wanted, I could destroy this realm at any time. But that would take away the fun of the game. So, I asked her to take me to find some demons, to score some points first. However, as we walked, we didn't see a single demon. Mo Ching suddenly used her acute hearing, but still came up empty. Looking at the stagnant score on my hand, I also felt a bit uneasy. Mo Ching suddenly said, I understand now, there must be some terrifying presence nearby, which is why they fled in haste. Given their strength, placing just one anywhere would be catastrophic, let alone a group. What exactly are they afraid of? Then, something occurred to her, and she looked beside her in horror. Could it be that what they're afraid of isn't something, but the great god beside me? At this moment, I lost my patience. Enough with the maze and avoiding me. Don't think I'm out of options, son of a dog. It's time to come out and play big with me. Hearing this, Heavenly Way suddenly appeared. Daddy, I'm here. Please command me as you see fit. I looked at him with a crazed smile. I want you to let loose. If anything happens, I'll cover for you. This scene left Mo Ching dumbfounded. A supreme existence like Heavenly Way actually recognizing someone as their father? In the Flame Mountain region, a great change occurred. Mo Huashi looked at the woman beside him with eyes cold to the extreme. It's Chin Chanan who's tricking you, not me. Why always snatch my prey? I didn't provoke you. You've almost cleared this region of demons. Even with more effort, you alone can't reach 200 points. Yulan ignored him and continued to advance toward the demon beasts in front of her. It really is unfair. Chin Chanan, you should feel lucky to have encountered me. The next moment, a flash of red light passed, and a hundred sharp sword lights appeared on those demon beasts, but there was no joy on Empress's face. After Chin Chanan stopped making moves, I now get double points for slaughtering these demons. I didn't expect to have accumulated so much along the way. She looked at her score, feeling a bit wrong for a moment, because she didn't have a high initial score like others, nor did she have teammates, so she could only rely on herself to continuously find and hunt targets. Meanwhile, she swore in her heart, after this round of advancement, I must chop down that guy, he can't freeload off me anymore. Suddenly, she sensed a cold presence behind her, the figure was tall, exuding an aura of death. Why, would you kill my friend? Unrelated to the realm of strength, Empress's hand holding the sword began to tremble uncontrollably. When did it appear behind me? The false god suddenly extended a finger. Die. As the syllable fell, Empress couldn't react in time. Instinctively, she launched her strongest attack, successfully deflecting false god's strike into the sky. The next moment, the entire sky was enveloped in lightning. False god's gaze changed slightly at this, raising his arm. Instantly, hundreds of light orbs appeared behind him in the space. Empress couldn't believe her eyes, yet her actions didn't stop for a moment, using all her strength to block all the attacks. Purple beams flew towards every corner of the Flame Mountain region. Seeing this, other participants no longer hesitated, rushing towards other regions. Something monstrous has appeared near Empress. However, False God's attack didn't cease. As he raised his hand again, endless purple dots appeared behind him, his gaze turning vividly excited, the look of one thrilled by the hunt. The next moment, countless formations surrounded Empress. Recognizing the formation, Empress's forehead was covered in cold sweat. This is the immortal slaying formation. For a moment, the entire world was engulfed in darkness. Blue-purple flames instantly swept across the entire mountain range. Once the dust settled, there was nothing left in front of False God. Realizing the insect had escaped, False God became immensely angry. A cold <laughs> laugh emanated from his mouth, followed by a sharp roar that instantly spread throughout the Flame Mountain region, feeling the extraordinary and terrifying pressure. Mo Hwashi's back was covered in cold sweat. What in the world is this thing? A human or a ghost? Even Empress had no choice but to flee in panic. In his anxiety, he hurriedly used his divination skills to calculate his survival rate against that entity, but the divination tool showed only the character for death, implying there was no chance of escape, certain death. This left him without the courage to confront the entity head-on. So, he divined again. What if Chin Chanan, the one who shattered the steel, faces it? The divination tool did not provide an answer but instead shattered into pieces. Mo Hwashi's eyes widened in terror. Impossible to predict. Even with my immortal emperor realm, I can't discern anything. What realm is Chin Chanan in? This competition requires avoiding not just Chin Chanan but also that monster. Perhaps it's time to switch locations and start over. In a corner of the Flame Mountain region, Empress had already lost her earlier composure, feeling a deep sense of dread. I didn't expect a false god to appear in the first round of the competition. A guardian meant for the final stage. Why appear so early? Suddenly, a strong oppressive force arrived, and the bright sky was replaced by a giant eye. You've slaughtered my friends, and now I'm 
alone again. How dare you? Then, the voice halted, and the giant pupil quickly locked onto its target. I found you. Empress's heart sank to the bottom. The so-called false god, a favored child of the heavenly way, superior to all cultivators, embodying thousands of laws in one. The moment false god appeared, Mirror Heart immediately sought guidance from the heavenly gods. Great heavenly beings, I don't know why that monster appeared in the first stage. Moreover, with the potential of this generation's land masters being quite remarkable, how could I spoil your esteemed pleasures? Goddess of the Dusk quickly uncovered the truth. It turned out the Solar Emperor, fearing being killed, dared to break the rules by releasing False God prematurely. He wanted to see who could defeat False God, as that would prove who the Godslayer is. Mirror Heart, upon hearing this, felt caught between a rock and a hard place. If we intervene to help the gods, that would mean offending the Solar Emperor. But if we do nothing, we offend the gods. False God is almost invincible beneath the gods. How could those yet to grow cultivators stand a chance against him? If this continues, all the landmasters will die. Uncertain, Mirror Heart anxiously sought guidance from the gods. This is no small matter. Should we in the East take action? Not just our side is facing this issue. Unless absolutely necessary, do not provoke a battle. As for those landmasters, they're on their own. Meanwhile, False God bulldozed his way directly towards Empress's location. The cultivators he encountered along the way were indifferent upon seeing him, even claiming they would kill him to divide him points among themselves. The next moment, their heads flew off without warning, yet his speed didn't decrease in the slightest, as if it was just an effortless action. Two seconds later, False God abruptly stopped in front of Empress, looking at the heads in his hand, whose expressions hadn't even had time to change. Empress felt a jolt in her heart. How can the gap be so large? False God exhaled a heavy breath, then revealed an extremely distorted smile. Little insect, I found you. He casually threw aside those heads, pointing a finger at Empress's forehead. Answer me one question. Among you, who causes the most trouble? No, wrong question. I meant, who among you is the strongest? You're all too weak, not even providing me with some fun. Empress forced herself to suppress the trembling of her body. I'm severely injured. Now, I can only use that move. Then, patterns of formations began to light up on her skin. Having comprehended the heavenly way laws for a million years, she never expected they would manifest in this manner. Suddenly, false gods and different voice echoed in her ear. I know what you're up to, but the power of laws isn't to be played with like that. Let me teach you how. The next moment, countless chains bound him in place. Empress looked around in horror. When did this happen? All my cultivation and energy movements are sealed, as if bound by hundreds of laws. The only thought in her mind was, this being is unbeatable. False god looked at the disobedient insect before him, grabbing Empress's arm. Perhaps making you into a human pig is better. Then, controlling Empress's body with one hand, he grasped her left arm with the other. As a tearing sound echoed, false god's laughter grew even more unrestrained. Since you refuse to speak, I'll search one by one. Simultaneously, a green light shot out from the center of the maze, and time stopped at that moment. All scenes began to rewind like a film reel, ultimately restoring Empress's arm to its original state, but the memories that had just appeared kept replaying in her mind. After digesting what had just happened, Empress finally realized, what was that just now? Could it be time flowing backward? Someone defied the constraints of this realm's heavenly way to alter the space-time. In my entire life of cultivation, I've never seen any immortal capable of such a defiance against the heavens, and the only one who could have done all that is the time-space god. Suddenly, a voice reached every participant's ears. Use all means to hide your aura within these five days. Avoid false god. Looking at the source of the voice, Yulan thanked him. If it wasn't for your intervention, I'd be dead now. Mirror Heart told her. Don't thank me. The one who rewound time wasn't a heavenly god, nor was it me. Saying this, he looked nervously in one direction. The source of that power is in the labyrinth of deception. Yulan couldn't stop her steps. Looking towards the labyrinth of deception, the entire continent became incredibly quiet. Due to the emergence of false god, everyone is hiding their aura. Some even destroyed their cultivation to sever the connection with their true self. What exactly happened there? To cause such turmoil, even making time flow backward for a minute. On the other side, false god suddenly lost track of his prey. No matter how he searched, the creatures from before seemed to have vanished. Their auras completely cut off. Behind a boulder, Lin Seven looked at Mo Huashi in surprise and said, Weren't you dead just now? That was my clone. Then make another one to lead him away. I'll make your head. If you show even a hint of your aura, he'll find you right away and take your head off. Choose between death and disgrace. Hearing this, Lin Seven instantly backed down. I think hiding is quite good. While they were still discussing, a presence suddenly lit up like a beacon in the night, catching false god's attention. It was coming from the direction of the maze, and the frequency was increasing. Excited, false god shouted, Here it comes. I found you. Watching false god's departure, Lin Seven felt a surge of fear. Who would be so bold at this critical moment? Isn't this seeking death? But that immense aura was unmistakable. Among us, only one person had such audacity. Chin Chana. At that moment, excitement was written on all the participants' faces, being targeted by false god. Even ten lives wouldn't be enough. Yulan, standing on a cliff, also noticed the owner of that aura. Her emotions a mix of worry and something else. You, good luck. Inside the labyrinth of deception, my precious son was 
fighting a life and death battle with this realm's heavenly way, leaving Imo Ching utterly astonished. All this just to get out of the maze? Isn't this a bit too much? Until just now, I kept using time reversal, resurrecting my son over and over again. After all, as my son, it would be too shameful if he couldn't even surpass a wild heavenly way. Despite collapsing dozens of times in a row, there wasn't a hint of faltering on his face. Such trust in me. Today, even if I have to destroy this realm, I will help you ascend to the path of spirit realm. But at that moment, a shadow interrupted my game, looking excitedly at my position. Hide and seek is over. Emo Ching let out a shrill scream at the sudden appearance of the creature. I scratched my ear, not understanding why she was so surprised. Are you sick? Why scream so loudly? Hearing my words, the creature excitedly rushed towards us. I've decided. I'll break both your arms and legs and make you into human pigs. To amuse myself, Emo Ching frantically reminded me to run before it was too late. Before she could finish, the creature was already in front of me, but there was no excitement of hunting on his face. Instead, a dumbfounded expression like a fool. His strange expression piqued my interest. Are you trying to make me laugh with this contrast? If so, you've succeeded. But you just said you wanted to make me into a human pig to pass the time. So, this arm will serve as the price for your arrogance. False God's eyes widened in shock, clearly realizing something was wrong. He looked complicatedly at his severed arm. My flesh, refined by the heavenly way from the primordial essence of all things, is supposed to be indestructible. Why was it so easily broken? But my next words truly frightened him, Emo Ching. Although I know you'd love to defeat this elite monster and earn his points. I'm sorry, I need him more. Meanwhile, Emo Ching was already running away without looking back. You flatter me too much, big brother. Please, help yourself. Hearing my words, false god felt greatly insulted. He actually called me a slightly tougher elite monster. He regenerated his broken arm through his rapid regenerative ability. Damned human, I'll kill you. The next moment, he brought his hands together, muttering an obscure incantation. Emo Ching nervously warned me. Be careful, that's law ceiling, a power of law that can sever all cultivation and vital energy. Seeing that I made no move to resist, false god showed a smug smile. Since your specialty is strength, I see no need to clash head on. After all, what I excel in are heavenly way laws. If a hundred won't do, then a thousand will. Under the heavenly way, I am invincible. Hearing him declare himself invincible right in front of me, I couldn't help but burst into laughter. I casually shattered the colorful chains binding me. You're really cute, daring to declare yourself invincible in front of me. So, are you ready to be slain by someone even more invincible? Only in the last moment of his life did false god finally realize the gap between us. A difference as vast as that between the clouds and the mud. The next moment, the beam of light broke through boundaries, destroying everything in its path. The shattered walls and the entire world could not describe my power, for they were all too fragile. Suddenly, the number on my hand changed, shooting up by a whole hundred points. I didn't expect such a weakling to be worth a hundred, with the points previously obtained by Empress. Advancement isn't far off. Simultaneously, the leaderboard appeared before everyone. My name instantly rose from 122nd to 10th place. I grabbed Emo Ching, who was hiding behind a stone wall. Quick, tell me, where do such elite monsters appear? She screamed in terror. Only in your eyes is it nothing serious. That monster was terrifying. There's only one in a competition. Now that it's gone, let's just be quietly happy, please. Her words instantly awakened me to a bold idea that sprang to mind. So, I called out to the system. Don't slack off now. It's time to get to work. With the system's assistance, I narrowed down the scope of time reversal, affecting only that lovely experienced baby. Seeing this familiar move again, Mo Ching suddenly realized something. You wouldn't. The next moment, false god appeared bewildered inside a blue sphere of light. I greeted him warmly. Darling, we meet again. Hearing the familiar voice, false god's face filled with terror. I told Heavenly Way, I'm bored here. I want to change the scenery. A perfect opportunity to showcase your cultivation results. Heavenly Way slowly opened his eyes, then burst into dazzling light. Mo Ching shouted, what are you doing? I really can't understand you. Stop it. This kind of commotion will get us devoured by the maze's Heavenly Way laws. Suddenly, limbs grew out of Heavenly Way's body, gradually taking on a human form. The next moment, a blue light appeared at the center of the Flame Mountain region. Emo Ching looked around in disbelief. This is spatial displacement. Only the heavenly way of this realm could do such a thing. I couldn't help but praise her. You know quite a lot. But now, this realm is under my heavenly way's domain, and the appearance of heavenly way, very sensibly, turned into a little girl. Emo Ching finally snapped out of her shock. Are you saying your heavenly way has replaced this realm's heavenly way, dominating this world? I smiled in response. Exactly. You're quite perceptive, catching on so quickly. At this time, other participants also appeared before me. After confirming repeatedly, they were sure the person standing before them was indeed Chen Chanan. Yulan followed closely and came before me, repeatedly asking in disbelief, are you really Chen Chanan? I didn't answer her almost nonsensical question, but looked at her excitedly. You've come at just the right time. I have a creature here worth a hundred points. I've already killed it once. Killing it again probably won't give me points. It's perfect timing for you to try. A finishing blow might just make up the two hundred. Yulan looked incredulously at the creature before her. The invincible false god now looks like a 
like a lamb ready for slaughter. How did you manage it? False God suppresses all cultivators. Did you foresee the danger and set up an ambush in advance? Her words left me puzzled. Isn't this guy just an elite monster? What's there to make such a fuss about? Everyone revealed a horrified expression upon hearing my words. Then, I pressed False God to the ground. I'm holding him down. Your turn to strike. Seeing her hesitate to act, I urged her. Hurry up. If you don't kill him, someone else will. What are you dallying for? At that moment, everyone sensed something very ominous. The Godslayer had appeared. 